Hey everybody, welcome into the Journals of Awakening. I'm Ben, your host. I just want to touch bases, let you guys know a little more in depth about my personal journey of awakening and the things that I've come to realize. Let's start with last night. Last night I was playing Monopoly. Okay, Monopoly with my kids. Best times ever, right? For most families, I'm sure. Best times ever is board game time. Playing Monopoly with the kiddos and being a awakening person, right? A, a journal. This is the Journals of Awakening. Playing Monopoly and couldn't help but notice that that was capitalism at its finest. It was uh, indoctrinated, obviously, into me as a child. And I didn't even realize that's my favorite board game, you know. But it's obviously wrong. It's about uh, taking over as much as you can being the richest wealthiest person and owning everything that's the point of the game right to put everyone else out of business so i think it's fucked up i don't like monopoly much anymore the concept i love the game but i don't like the concept it's a uh, teaching kids bad things you know you don't need to take over the world you just need enough and that's something most people don't see either that people think that they need the world they need to own walmart for some reason to be successful it doesn't make sense to me success is in the eye of the beholder and success to me is finding your inner peace healing your inner child and just living life to the fullest you know it's, it's just the the money thing you know monopoly raising them the money which brings me right into um schooling how uh, schooling it starts whatever eight 30 to, to 3 right it's and it's 5 days a week like holy crap talk about overload and then they send your kids home with homework the audacity you know like they're already there for 8, eight and a half, nine hours and you expect them to come home do another hour of homework fuck no I don't make my kids do homework period my kids are smart I get compliments all the time you know what I mean teachers teacher conferences I go to all of those and they have nothing but good things to say so Homework sucks, in a nutshell, you know, but they're training you. Schooling is indoctrinating as well. They are training you to grow up and slave your life away on a job, nine to five. You know what I mean? You got to go. It's part of life. You got to do it. I get it. it it's part of life. I, I definitely I've worked a lot. You know what I mean? It's just um, you can't let it be your center of focus and, and the awareness is gone. The awareness is gone. People just think, I work nine to five. I'm doing everything correctly for the best for my family, right? Wrong. Absolutely wrong. If you're working and your your spouse is working, right? And you have to pay the freaking daycare more than your spouse is making. I'm sure your kids don't get made fun of, you know. Thought I lost my necklace. Um, yeah, just in indoctrinating from birth i've said it before you know what i mean it's just you know you're born and you get a freaking you get it you get a serial number like right away you know like you're automatically i have a number you know i think i'm gonna tattoo it like on my neck or something so whoever wants my identity can have it i don't care i don't do the system bullshit you know like i said in my live today my live today i um i sharded <laughs> It's a sticker I got. Oh, I see it. It's, uh... Yeah, because, you know, voting plays into the system. And you have to know that. I'm, I'm an awakening person. You go and vote. Make a difference, right? No. What you're doing is letting them know that you still believe in their process. Which I do not. I shard it. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. That's, that's, that's what I got to say. You know, that's... Whew. That just goes into depth, you know. <laughs> well, let's talk about uh, enjoying every moment, okay? Being in every single moment, which is easier said than done, right? So I've just made it a practice. It's, it's what I do now. So anytime something's happening, say, you know, you're, you're coloring with your kids at the table, really enjoy that. Embrace it. You know what I mean? Last night with me at Monopoly with the kids, you know, embrace it. Really just... Look at your kids' joy as they play. Look at their excitement. 
answer all their questions and try to keep a smile on your face because obviously I have a resting dick face. I'm really a nice guy, but I understand. I, I kind of look like I'm always in a bad mood, but I'm not. So I try to vocalize. I try to be vocal about it tell everybody that I'm really happy you're here. I love you so much. You know what I mean? Things like that. And we don't get into these things because Ben's a crier. <laughs> All right. But this brings me to a big one. A big one for me. My family. My family are toxic. They're they're masculine. Toxic masculinity. It's it's outrageous. You know, like uh, I'm talking all the way back to they thought they were gangsters, white gangsters. We'll call them that. Fucking idiots, right? You know, just uh, being gay is highly unacceptable in my family. Unacceptable, right? And I'm not gay by far. You know what I mean? I'm not gay at all. But I I don't think that it's my choice or my problem or you know it's, it's, it doesn't matter it doesn't affect my life right it doesn't affect my future it doesn't affect my children what you believe and what you raise your kids to believe is on you you know what I mean which is why I was a homophobic 99% of my life I just figured it out that it's it's whatever dude it's your choice you know what I mean I got no problem with them you know 99% of the people that work at Target are gay and they're the nicest boys, I'm telling you. They're really nice guys. You know? I know I got a couple of gay fans out there. And and I don't mind it. You know what I mean? You, you could tell me. You know, looking good in the tank top. That's okay. That's on you, dude. You know, like, it's not okay. Like, you don't go around telling a girl that, like, I wish you'd, you know, wear more tank tops. Like, degrading, you know? Like, just because I'm a guy doesn't mean I don't feel degraded. So just... Be mindful of that, you know? Um, but yeah, I used to tell my kids, you know, gay this, F that. It's wrong, dude. It's wrong. And you know what it is? is it's, putting, it's putting attention on it. You know what I mean? Take the attention off of it. Stop making it the center of attention and it won't be such a big deal. You know what I mean? Live your own damn life. Fall in love with who you fall in love with. That's your thing, man. Your prerogative. You know, you fall in love with your best friend in fucking elementary school. You were gay the whole time. That is what it is, bro. But um, I just bring this up because it's, it's as an awakening person, it's one of those things that was just ingrained in my head that I never really thought through. You know, like, you know, and second of all, like, don't, it's sex. I know what I mean. Like, that's, you don't talk about this shit openly. Just the gay thing, you know, like, it's just, it's your sexuality, it should be kept to you, you know, the people that are real flamboyant, you can tell, <laughs> but those guys are obviously looking for some attention, the flamboyant ones, right, so, whatever, they're doing their thing, they're doing what they think they need to do to get the attention they need, it's their prerogative, it's their journey, it's not mine, you know what I mean, don't be a hater, I was toxic, I was, I was one of the most toxic people that I know, right? I full my belief structure is so strong that I believe anything that I believe 100%. You know what I mean? But I'm just waking up. I'm learning these things. Like I was toxic. I was abusive mentally. I used my voice and my resting bitch face to intimidate, starting with the children. You can't even lie. All you parents out there, you use what you got. And I just feel horrid for it. You know what I mean? Like, that's all my dad ever did. Fucking scare me to death. You know? And I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not an expert. But I have vowed to not be mean to my kids. I am too present in every moment that I couldn't. Like, I mean, I do. And when I do, I'm mad at myself instantly. And then it shows worse. And it's probably more intimidating. It's bad. But I'm working on myself, guys. I'm really, really trying I'm going to make this human vessel the best it can be. The best. I'm working on it. Uh, I was really immature. You know, really immature. Saying things like retard and gay, you know, faggot, stuff like that. Immature. You know what I mean? Saying that shit, you look like a fucking child. You know, like, grow up, bro. Grow up. Mind your business. You know? I don't, you know, it, it, it'd be like us walking up, us straight people walking up to gay, 
or gay people walking up to a straight people and being like, ew, gross. You're kissing on a girl. Nasty. You know what I mean? Shouldn't be doing that anyway in public. You leave that shit for the house, the bedroom. The PDA shit, come on, man. Making couples jealous. <laughs> I'll admit it, I do it sometimes. But uh, I was a sheep. I was. Before I was started my awakening journey, I was a sheep. I went to work. I worked 12 hour shifts. I thought if I picked up an extra day every single fucking week, my family would be better off. The second I got laid off of that job, it didn't take time at all, a day or two. Maybe even the day. I knew. I knew. I was okay. I didn't need it. I had overthought it. Um, you know, I was making a lot. Like, I was, not a lot, but relatively. In Arizona, back when minimum wage was 12, I was making 17. So, that was, that was good, you know? Like, especially if I'm able to pull 50, 60 hours a week, which I was. Exhausted my body. I looked great great you know exhausted my body gave myself arthritis <clears throat> blew out the competition blew them out of the water you know what i mean that's just how i am i, I try to be the best at everything i do and uh, capricorn is what my my old lady keeps telling me <laughs> but through all that and all that work and the, the obviously i was like a slave i was working constantly and living poor i was very poor like we didn't have shit like we're, we're in the best situation ever right now you know what i mean and we live in a trailer so i'm humble i'm so humble man I'm so humble the electric really went up because the winter hit right and it's like crazy like 11 dollars a day you know because the boys were here and we had like little space heaters in our rooms and stuff but i don't care it's worth it who cares about that ten twelve dollars that day you know like so today we didn't get our special tea and coffee or today we don't get to eat at mcdonald's which we don't but you know what i mean that one fucking thing to to let money control you you know like you know the old joke with dads in the furnace like who keeps turning it up who keeps turning it down that shit is just overthought overplayed and frankly it's stupid to think that money is that goddamn important it's not it is like it, it, you don't get me wrong you know like okay so i did security for almost four years and um i don't want to say all but a lot of the homeless people that i met were homeless by choice they simply were sick of the system and you know that was an eye opener for me i was a security guard i was a super cop ben does everything 110 <coughs> percent. i'm arresting people for petty shoplifting food <coughs> you know, I did undercover security at uh, Albertsons. I did uh, lot security for like Dollar Generals and like bad neighborhoods. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> and I also did security for Circle K, <coughs> which is the worst <coughs> of all of them. And let me tell you, security doesn't pay crap. Nowhere near worth the money. Literally, I used to get, I was a supervisor. I would get down on the kids that would sleep in their car, smoke weed on a job, whatever. Now, that's exactly what I'd be doing. Working that goddamn hard for that little bit of money, you know? Like a cop. <clears throat> anyway, I was lost. I was just fucking lost. Just when I thought I had it together and I was doing great, I woke up, figured out I was lost. And uh, I'm finding myself. And it's been the most incredible journey that I will ever experience, I believe, throughout my life. And, you know, I don't know how long this journey is going to last. And you know how long it's going to take to fully wake up. Or if you even can. You know what I mean? I feel like it's a constant thing. But I'm well on my way. And I'm not going to change my path. The synchronicities are everywhere. I know that I'm doing exactly what i'm supposed to be doing i'm right where i'm supposed to be you know and uh we plan to keep this home a home make it secure and want my kids to grow up knowing that that you don't have to move all the time you know what i mean like i did i was moving every six months i went to 25 different schools growing up and that's not including college so 26 with college I mean, if you count the fact that I went to online schooling afterward, 
and that was not due to the vid. That was due to uh, the drive. It was about an hour and 20 minutes to my college class. So admittedly, I quit after a year. My my partner at the time, she had graduated uh, early. She did like a 10-month course, and I was doing it two years. And I just I didn't have the motivation to drive all the way to the big city anymore and go to these classes and pay all this money. And that's the other thing. I got all these student loans, which I was bullied into getting, right? Literally bullied, sitting next to my old lady, signing her up for college, and they're sitting here talking about, you're going to let her take care of you financially? And I was a stupid sheep. I said, no, sign me up. Guess what I went to college for? <clears throat> criminal justice. Associate's degree, criminal justice, associates of science. So I was doing uh, forensics and uh, forensic mainly, finding out how to read a crime scene, you know, how to mark a crime scene, how to know what projectile the bullet came from, how far the bullet was shot from, the spread ratio how to take fingerprints, all these things, right? Indoctrinated. I wanna say thank you personally to every single one of you people that are following, watching, showing support, especially the comments, they mean the world to me. I read them, I respond, I do my best. Every single one of them so far. Um, thank you, you guys mean the world to me, thank you. Um, I love all of you. Now, for real though, peace and love. Peace and love.